welcome everyone uh, for our uh, series of presentation around Industry 4.0 um, solutions from AWS. Today, uh, we are going to talk about how to achieve optimal productivity, optimal productivity in a manufacturing plant floor by integrating a factory floor equipment with uh, AWS. I think that's what we are going to talk about today. Today, this is a joint presentation between AWS and our partner, Telet, who got a whole bunch of exciting solutions, and they're a very strong player in a manufacturing plant floor space today. And we are doing a lot of uh, deeper integration between both our capability. Um, before I go into that capability between Bill and I, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Pukal Janikaraman. I run the worldwide business development for industrial IoT for Amazon Web Services. Uh, with that, uh, Bill, can you introduce yourself, please? Sure, thank you, Pugal. Um, hi, my name is Bill Dykus. I'm the uh, tele product manager for our IoT platform. Thanks, Bill. Uh, before uh, Bill starts talking, I want to talk about industry trends um, uh, because everything Amazon does is driven by customers. We are a customer obsessed company. Uh, manufacturing solutions we are building, whether it is with our services like SiteWise or solutions we are driving to accelerate Industry 4.0 or quality control solutions we are developing with partners like uh, Telet, uh, everything is driven by customers. So today, if you look at uh, the manufacturing trends, which is shaping up our manufacturing strategy today, if I have to quickly go through that, the first trend we are seeing in the industry is uh, data as an enabler. Everything revolves around data. And again, in a manufacturing environment, we are talking about a brownfield environment. Uh, it's not a greenfield. People have had PLCs, SCADA devices, RTUs for two to three decades, and it has been generating data for a long time. Uh, customers are trying to understand the data better. Obviously, now the time is uh, right because there is this thing called as cloud, uh, which Amazon uh, provides today, which provides an unlimited compute and with some out-of-the-box tools like AI, ML, and IoT, big data analytics capability, which can provide inferences which has not been possible traditionally with uh, terabytes of data, which is generated from plant flow. I think that's the first thing which is happening, which is the biggest trend we are seeing. Once people understand the data better, customers are trying to streamline their manufacturing operations with digitally executed manufacturing. Again, digitally executed manufacturing, we are not expecting them to buy a new five axis milling machine or do some extensive control systems out there in a plant floor. This is just leverage the data which is being generated and we are trying to understand that better to streamline the manufacturing processes executing within their MRP, uh, MES, and maintenance system, quality systems today, which today does not know a lot about OT system. We are bridging the gap and providing additional streamlining within that manufacturing system. The other major trend which is shaping up the market is, uh, which is around Connected, connected products and product as a service. Product as a service is still early from a plant floor, but we are already seeing lubrication as a service, bottling plant as a service, capabilities like that, um, uh, what partners are talking about. But connected products, it's pretty much mainstream today. Every product is connected. That is another major source of machine generated data customers are trying to understand after plant floor. And once you understand that better, you can streamline now your supply chain and manufacturing operation. That's another trend which is going on. Last but not least is the sustainability effort. There is huge interest with customers to drive solutions with which they can streamline their energy bills today and optimize their water consumption, pollution, various activities like that. So huge area of interest for Amazon. Again, we are driving a whole bunch of solutions in this area. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Bill, who is going to go deeper into the solutions which uh, we are driving together between Telnet and AWS, primarily from a manufacturing floor point of view, and to support these trends. Bill, back to you. Thank you, Pagal, for uh, that introduction. Uh, so let me set the stage here for when we start talking about uh, IoT. Here at Telnet, uh, we look at the connection to the the device as being the first mile of IoT. Historically, and in, in from other people's perspective, they start at the, at the far right at the data centers and the, and the cloud application integration, 
and they look at the, the last mile as being connecting to the device. Well, that may have been the truth back in the day when we were talking about uh, video on demand and, and streaming out to houses. But when it comes to IoT, the, the actual starting point is the, at the device, the first mile, the ability to connect to things, to get the data from the, the individual devices, whether they be robots or, or vehicles or, or other industrial pieces of equipment, the ability then to sort of make that connection and transport it and deliver it into the enterprise middleware, whether it's in the cloud or in the local data centers, and then take that data and turn it into business process improvement, whether it's to make money, save money, or, or be compliant. So that's what we do at Tellit, and we're doing it with AWS as a way to improve our customers' business processes. We start at the first mile of IoT. So we're gonna talk about productivity and productivity uh, from Paul Krugman's perspective is it isn't everything, but it, in the long run, it's almost everything. What that means is, you know, how do you improve the effectiveness and the efficiency of your business? And it needs to be measurable. And to be measurable, it has to be, you have to have the data. And to get the data, you have to connect to the, the machinery and the devices that are generating that. And in the industrial factory and, and, and IoT uh, domains, the IoT is getting to be everywhere, whether it be in the human interaction or the home or the retail environments. And there's definitely companies focusing on that. But from, from the talent perspective, factories and industrial uh, applications are the largest, and it's where we have the greatest expertise. And uh, working with uh, AWS, we're focused on, you know, operations optimizations, predictive maintenance, inventory optimization, and of course, the sort of the compliance, the health and safety aspects. But the top applications, and we're seeing that, are the oper operations optimizations and predictive maintenance. And those require getting the data, understanding the data, and in managing it and uh, analyzing it in conjunction with the, uh, the high-end analytics tools that are available. So where, what are these next-gen applications? So how do we stop uh, the micro stoppages, the machines that slow down the assembly lines? How do we get the data to do a root cause analysis? Predictive maintenance is a, a one of the next generation applications, being able to know something's gonna break down before it actually does so you can prevent and do the maintenance and prevent the, the machinery from stopping. And then digital twins enable us to monitor on a continuous basis what's actually happening with the, the physical world. And then predictive quality management. Uh, we have customers today that are monitoring everything from machine operation to the, the torque and uh, uh, readings from every single nut and bolt that they put together on an automobile watching those wrenches for the individual torque readings, keeping track of the torque and knowing when the machinery needs to be updated and, and recertified. And then lastly, energy sustainability solutions. Energy is probably one of the key places inside of a, a machine, whether it be inside of a machine or inside of a, a factory that we can help optimize. So what does your factory look like today? Well, in your typical non-industrial uh, IoT factory, you're looking down a, a row of machinery and they all look disconnected. But the reality is with AWS and Telet, all these individual pieces, whether they're a PLC or a, a, a CNC, and they're all of different brands, a robot machinery going down the center of the floor, all of these pieces of machine are giving off data. And ideally we're connecting them all and bringing the data to, to be analyzed so that the operations can be optimized uh, and keep the lines flowing. So what, is, what does that mean? How does that happen? Well, the ideal situation is, a, is you implement an industrial IoT systems management platform. And what is, that includes a lot of key parts, the device management, which includes zero touch onboarding, remote provisioning, uh, monitoring update, 
everything about connecting to the device, understanding the device, what it's doing, the data about the device, and then we start getting into the data generated by the device. And that's where some of our edge logic comes in, the ability to put intelligence at the edge, monitor that data, send the only, send the data that's only necessary, especially in wireless situations that might be cellular based, the ability to uh, send only the data to keep your cellular bills down, or in cases where there's an alarming situation, identify changes in data and behavior so that you can uh, send alarms for the proper uh, response by uh, either other compute systems or specific individuals. Embedded security, the ability to ensure that not only is the the data protected, that there's not there's improper access through through either humans or other machinery, and making sure that it gets to to where it needs to be and that it's pre-provisioned and, and set to go. If you're dealing with a wireless environment, having the connectivity service and management, you know, how do you manage those either cellular or, or wireless uh, environments so that you ensure that your, your data is getting where it needs to be and that you're doing it in the optimal, most, uh, most price conscious way that you can do it. Uh, in the future, this will probably be represented by uh, 5G private networks operating inside of factories, whether it be uh, you, uh, factories will be somewhat operating as private MNOs, so to speak. And then lastly uh, is the enterprise integration. This is the things where you either are dealing with the management systems, uh, it, whether it be traditional enterprise middleware, or the next-gen systems provided by uh, AWS inside of uh, uh, it's cloud systems. So one of the things that uh, this, the enterprise integration does, it enables you over time to move from historical legacy uh, implementations to the next generation, highly optimized services. So the road to industry 4.0 uh, is deployment simplification. Uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves and that we add as a value is, is while we're in the middle here, uh, acting as the IoT systems management, part of that is having the specialized tools and drivers to connect directly to these individual machines. While there, in some cases there exists uh, open protocols and that work very well, they're not as optimized uh, for connecting to each individual machine, whether it be a PLC from the, the traditional um, big three of Mitsubishi or Rockwell, or Siemens or other um, known vendors, whether it be robotics, et cetera, having highly optimized drivers that connect to each piece of equipment, cutting the latency times down from uh, by at least a factor of 10 enables us to get that data in a timely manner, optimized in the middle, optimize that data more in terms of sending the right way and then delivering it to the enterprise systems. In this case, we're we're doing a lot with AWS and their systems, whether it be through the the IoT core or into SiteWise or into uh, next generation data management systems. And we're doing this today with a wide range of clients. You can see the names down below: automotive, industrial equipment, uh, pharmaceutical uh, companies. These are all companies that are leveraging the the, the Tele Device Wise platform. So let me take a quick overview of how we combine um, our pieces of software in a way that provide you um, the best solution. In the cases where you have a connected factory, again, we talk about connecting to the assets. And sometimes locally, you need to provide localized uh, HMI dashboards. And we can do that today with our Telet DeviceWise product operating on the factory floor. Uh, this can typically is defined as the edge. Some companies define the edge as the, the factory door. We define the edge all the way down to the pieces of equipment. So depending upon how you wanna optimize your implementation and what your application needs, we can provide the, the edge software device-wise gateway to operate in either location. And what's key and important is, as I said before, that enterprise integration, whether it be local systems or the next gen bi-directional communication directly with the cloud. So, that is our on-premise software, the device-wise gateways, but more importantly and equally as important is our Tele-IoT portal operating in, on AWS. 
We host this system on AWS and it provides a number of services, both from a, a device management, managing these subsystems that are, whether they're in one, two, three, 10 or factories around the world, uh, the IoT portal is accessible to all of those pieces of machinery and, and localized software. Also, when you start talking about connected machinery, the ability to connect to industrial assets that might not be centralized, but might be operating in a field, say a, a fracking truck or an individual uh, laser cutting machine, high, very expensive pieces of equipment that could be might, might not be concentrated in one location, but also in places that are, are not readily accessible. This is quite, we see this quite a bit with uh, in cases where the, the manufacturer of the, of the industrial asset wants to communicate directly with their, with their asset in, in local environments so that they can do remote access, remote monitoring, secure remote access and monitoring. And lastly, we can also act as the conduit for data directly into, into AWS so that you can utilize their services depending upon what you, your, you've optimized your application for, whether it be Kinesis or, or other tools inside of the AWS environment. And we can have a, a longer discussion on that at, uh, at any time. So let's talk about a couple of implementations of that that kind of talk about that connected factory and that uh, connected machinery. So in, in the case of uh, Industry 4.0, we're dealing with the initial connectivity, we're dealing smart factory, and we have the flexibility based upon the, the, the examples I discussed in the last slide, how do we combine those pieces to give you the best connection, the best device management, the best data orchestration uh, ability to transform it and deliver it to where it needs to be for process optimization. So we're talking about American Axle in, in this example, a operating uh, what, I, what I'll call in this case a, a connected factory. Uh, and they chose the, this our combination of software so because it offered very some very specific features. But if you look at some of the the most important things, it was the native embedded PLC drivers that enables them to communicate directly with specific pieces of equipment and be multi-platform and also deal with high, high performance uh, multi-threaded applications. Those are some of the priority items that uh, they chose the, the device-wise and it enabled them to tie it into a complete fa factory solution with a broad range of uh, Industry 4.0 initiatives, finally culminating in the delivery of data into an AWS system. Um, Many companies are utilizing uh, this this kind of environment, or that where they're having to deal with legacy products, legacy infrastructures, but want to take advantage of next generation services that are that AWS provides. So the next one is Mitsubishi Machinery. That an ex, they're an example of a a, a connected uh, machine in the sense that uh, these machines, uh, they provide services, technical support services, product support services to machinery um, around the country, around the world. And they can't always send out a, uh, a, uh, a machine technician. So ideally we provide uh, with them, with our Telet IoT portal operating on the cloud in AWS, direct connection to these individual machines. These are very large uh, industrial uh, cutting machines. Uh, and we provide uh, the capabilities to so that such that they can have provide services for uh, uh, visualization of the how the system performance, keeping an eye on the ind individual product features and capabilities of, of of the product to making sure that it's operating correctly. And so this you know the results were remote diagnostic capabilities that so they can find the problem before their customers uh, needed them to resolve those issues and then upload and update programs and software as required. Typically our customers are implementing uh, in it, like Mitsubishi are implementing the Telet services in a way so that they can provide better services to their customer. And in some cases pass use be the service provider for their customers. 
and this is this is an example of what we're what they're experiencing, where the device management cloud of of Telet is communicating with the individual features and providing the benefits of a, an integrated remote data collection and remediation system. The features being the cloud, the device, the IoT cloud, the device management, the data collection, and in some cases a cellular or or Ethernet gateway, giving them the capabilities. And then lastly, the terminology tunneling refers to our ability to securely and access remotely uh, for improving uh, the performance of those systems. So what's all about from our perspective is simplifying the OT to IT um, communication protocols. In this particular case, you can sort of see the traditional levels, level zero, one through five, um, data structures and, in, and equipment, whether you're dealing with the individual uh, instrumentation at the level zero, communicating through the control systems, and then presenting the other master supervisory control systems from SCADA, and then finally working its way up through the business management systems of a manufacturing execution system or an ERP or a cloud. What's really important about this picture is showing how we can leverage device-wise to communicate both across the individual layers and between the, the, the different data sources and data uh, ingestion points and move that all the way up into uh, in the ingestion into AWS cloud services, whether it be site-wise or their data analytics and AI. So what does that look like when we start talking about the, the endless solutions? You know, we started this uh, talking about productivity, and and productivity can only happen when you do things better. And the only way you can do things better is to measure the changes and find the points where things are slowing you down. And so, these different features, these different capabilities of AI integration, the the IT to OT, and in reverse, the OT to IT. What are the data being generated and how does it tie in with the manufacturing execution systems, the ERP and SCADA? OE visualization gives you real-time understanding of your, your operational uh, and efficiency effectiveness. Quality control, what's happening uh, on the individual machines and what's happening in the line? How are you... How are things moving down the line? What's the time on that? And then making sure through predictive and preventative maintenance, keeping those lines up. Lastly, but not necessarily uh, un any less important, is the ability to integrate and automate, making the machines talk together. So within the, we spoke earlier about the first mile of IoT, the uh, the tele device. This is an example of how uh, a, a small edge device could be cellular hopefully with a Telet cellular module and a Telet cellular plan, but the ability to tie together edge, edge devices that can communicate through specialized communication drivers, provide edge logic. In our case, we talk about low code and no code environments at the, uh, at the edge, the ability to not have to necessarily program what's actually happening at the edge, but do provide a drag and drop uh, event action environment so that you can very quickly set up what the logic is at the edge. Provide local visualization, then provide connectors to uh, to cloud services, and then also provide you through uh, the tele device wise portal, device management, remote access, and uh, and any digital twin features that you'd need. So the last thing I'll say about our, our the tele uh, device wise cloud is a core part of our IoT systems platform, our focus, uh, is the ability its ability to connect to devices, gather data, and deliver that data to what it needs to be. So, uh, in summary, it's a full full scale platform that enables device management, connectivity management, data management, data delivery, and enterprise integration. So, with that, uh, please request a. Uh, uh, to learn more from our customer representatives. Uh, this contact here enable you to get a free factory trial. And then I wanted to thank you and I'll hand it off to, back to you, Pugal. Uh, thanks, Bill. Um, um, again, I think I see already a lot of questions uh, popping up, uh, but before we go there, again, I'm excited to partner with Telet. 
to provide deeper integration between their device-wise capability and our IoT services like SiteWise. And uh, please feel free to reach out to us uh, if you need any uh, more information around it. With that, let's go into Q&A. Thank you.